I do have a Twitter account. Um, I haven't used it in a really long time. Um, I've actually never used Twitter outside of uh, this Dauntless Tanker account, and so I actually really don't know how it works super well. Um, but that's something that I could potentially use uh, to get the word out as well. Um, I know Twitch is kind of a difficult platform to get people to watch you on. Um, I have about 250 uh, subscribers on Twitch, which is awesome. Um, but I've, I've live streamed like once before. So hopefully with this quarantine thing going on, I'll be able to stream more often and therefore get more of a consistent viewer base and maybe refine how I play and how I interact with you guys a little bit better. Because let's be honest, if we pointed a, a webcam in one of your guys' faces while you play a game, it's not always easy to come up with things to say on the fly. That is something that I guess I'm pretty good at, is just coming up with things to talk to on the fly, looking at a screen, which is nice. Uh, so hopefully I'll make a good streamer as a result. So I'm playing the little Panzer Wagon here. Um, I honestly treat this thing like I'm playing the tier 9 RU. I recently 3 marked it, and I'm going to play this thing like it's a tier 9 because it is definitely not um, on par with any tier 10 tank that I've ever played. I waited a second there because I was hoping that our team would take a shot, um, but I also didn't want to risk him uh, dodging my shot by peeking down, realizing that he was lit. Six cents takes about three seconds um, to realize that you're lit, and so I counted in my head three, and then I shot him um, just because I didn't want to be in a situation where he gets lit, ducks down on a missed opportunity on some easy damage. So um, there's a chance that any of those tank destroyers could try to blind fire this bush. Uh, I'm playing really passively right now because Again, how often do you see light tanks pushing out and just getting killed early? Senlac pushing in, FB pushing in. So this is a tier 8 game, um, but again, that doesn't automatically mean I'm going to have the best chance at dealing with these guys. This is what you don't want. I mean, that could have been me if I wasn't careful. And fun fact, there is a gap right here in these bushes, and as these guys push through, you can actually spot them and then shoot here and they won't be able to spot you. Panzer Wagon. So I'm going to sit in this position and I'm going to hopefully spot um, tanks as they push across here. Okay, so something like pushed across. And I shouldn't get lit for that. Now I'm going to just stay in this position. He's not going to give me a shot unless he backs up, but I should spot um, this other vehicle, this FV, if he decides to push. This guy might back up. Oh, there we go. FV is going to give me this turret. Oh, this gun is so bad. Long reload, low alpha damage. This tank is the worst. Uh, but it's fast. I will give you that. Okay, so I'm just going to do my due diligence here. I'm not going to sit out too far because I don't want to get lit, but I also want to spot this guy if he pushes across. Um, and that's kind of what the goal is for now. Occasionally I'm going to peek out, hopefully get a shot on this Panzer Wagon here. My goal is to just spot this opening here, um, because that's going to be my opportunity to spot you up just on cue, and I'm going to fire right now, and I, of course I don't hit. Perfect. But these guys are going to give me some awesome assist damage. Hopefully they'll shoot that guy as well. Nope. Okay. Panzer Wagon is pushing up. These guys are not the brightest. Ooh. So there is an STRV there. So that's good information to know. That's something that I will tell my team. Um, I don't chat too much with my team, but, you know, for them knowing what's potentially there to hurt them is very beneficial. Now, do I want to peek in the same location again and potentially get killed? Or not really killed, but damaged by that guy? Probably not. I'm going to hopefully back up just enough where that RHM won't be able to spot me again. Okay, so these guys are pushing up. This is when I take my lead. I have nothing else supporting me here. The majority of our team is pushed up into um, the city. And I don't want to get myself in a position where I can't defend myself. So I'm going to take a classic light tank position that I really enjoy taking. 
this tank does not have good camouflage and its turning is not the greatest either but this position is quite powerful um, because it gives the enemy a false sense of security these guys are going to push out with no clue that i'm here and then i'm going to be able to just back up here double bush and farm these guys as they push into the back of our tank. Oh, so it's a building there. Circle back, buddy. One more shot. Okay, so I didn't get lit for that, thankfully. And I'm going to peek back out and hope that this AMX makes the same mistake. And this Emil is reloading now. I'm going to actually load heat. Oh, that's a prototype. So I'm going to load heat because I'm not going to be able to pen these guys otherwise. went for the cheek of that prototype there. And I've got to be careful how I position my tank. Because I don't want to get lit in the side. And again, I'm positioning my tank the best I can to support. I've already let my presence known to this to both of these tanks, unfortunately. Ooh, so I got lit for that somehow. So hopefully, oh, that's why. What is he doing back there? Okay, so our team is doing not good. So, yeah, I'm gonna die here. Okay. <laughs> so I was able to farm 3,600 damage in that position. Um, the alternative for me in that situation is, you know, I could have done the light tank thing and I could have pushed out into the middle, or I could have run down the zero line. That chat proved that that wouldn't have worked, and typically people that do that die instantly. I was providing our tanks with vision, even though our team didn't realize it, by spotting things that were pushing across that zero line, um, and I was getting vision on things that were pushing across the best I could while also getting damage in it simultaneously and not taking damage. You know, you can't really ask for too much more of a light tank than that. I'm also top tier. Tier 10, you have to carry your weight, and so shooting tanks at tier 10, um, I'm actually able to do some damage. Not the greatest, because I wish I would have had more damage, and I wish I would have actually won that game. But instead of falling all the way back to the corner and hide like I see a lot of tanks do, hiding behind that house and using my great camouflage at tier 10 and shooting those tier 8s on the side is a good way to just farm damage and hopefully hold those guys off as long as possible. The only reason I got lit was because that RU got behind me. I was tunnel vision, and so unfortunately, he lit me. I don't think there was anything I could have done about that anyway, but... It worked out, you know, 450 assist, which is not great, but I got that on those tanks driving across, as well as farming 3,600 damage. You know, I did over double the, the next guy, which was Artie. And so, you know, you can see our Type 61 did zero. So, you know, decent result in a tank that a lot of people, I think, underutilized.